hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i managed to achieve a boho knotless braid so let's get into it so i'm starting on blow dried hair i'm gonna go ahead and start by parting my hair down the middle i want my part as straight as possible so i will be using my three-way mirror for this as you can see, I can see my head from all angles using this. After I finish parting my hair down the middle, I'm also going to part my hair from ear to ear. If you will notice, I am taking time to make sure my parts are as clean as possible, but I am not going in with gel just yet. This is because I will be using gel while I'm braiding my hair and I don't want any type of unnecessary buildup. Now that I've sectioned off my hair, I will be going in to part the front of my hair. This is because I do not want the hair to fall while I am parting the back. My hair is sectioned off into 5 parts on either side of my head, so 10 parts in all in the front. Now I'm starting on the parts for the back of my head. Now that I've finished parting my entire head, I'm gonna go ahead and start braiding. I'm using a braiding rack with all my hair that I'm using, as well as this braiding gel. Before I start braiding, I am making sure that the strand is fully coated in braiding gel. That way I'm starting off on a very smooth and slick base. As you can see here, I'm also smoothing out with the comb. To start off knotless, I go ahead and separate the strand into three sections. I then use my pointer finger and my thumb to hold the strand and add the extension in by flipping it over the pointer finger and begin braiding. 
When I've braided it about two or three times, I go ahead and repeat the process by flipping the hair over my pointer fingers so that I have a good grip. Once I'm in a good part of the braid, I flip it over my shoulder just so I'm in a more comfortable position. Adding in the curls isn't much different from adding in the regular braiding extensions. It's just that I bend it at a larger angle so there's a little bit less of the curl at one section. I leave that section in and then pull out the curl once I've braided a couple times so it doesn't fall off in a couple days. When I'm almost to the end of the braid, I just go ahead and tie it off so I can curl it later on. Here I'm just adding a little bit of braiding gel to the curl so that it's less frizzy.
Here I'm just restocking my braiding rack. I restocked it about three or four times through that entire process. Here I'm just adding the back section of the hair into rollers already just because with all the curls I just knew it was going to be a lot harder to do it all at once.
just boiling the ends of my hair. And here's the finished look you guys. I am absolutely obsessed with this hairstyle. I love it so much.